So today we're going to be taking a look at the official kit for Ludmilla Winter Owner. She is the first character that is going to be released out of the two limited time characters that we are getting. And on a side note, I do want to mention that if you have seen this announcement about the upcoming solo raid boss, just based on this, you can pretty much already get a good idea of what kind of character she is going to be. Because if you haven't noticed, the new character that is going to be released around that time is pretty much going to be tailor made for that specific solo raid boss. And a really good example for that is when we got A2 before we got into the solo raid boss season when we went up against that variant of blacksmith. But with that being said, let's actually take a look at Ludmilla's kit. So Ludmilla Winter Owner is going to be an attacker, she is going to use a machine gun, she will have the water element, and she is also going to be a burst type 3. This is pretty much in line with what you would expect from the patch notes because they described her as like a DPS so this is really nothing out of the norm. And her using a machine gun also makes sense because the upcoming raid boss, Chatterbox, is actually a lot easier to deal with when you have characters that can deal damage consistently. And the reason for that is you would want to take out all of the projectiles, so having a big ammo capacity is going to be really good, and you also need to deal with the interruption points that are going to pop up. So having a character like this who can consistently attack using her normals is going to be very useful. And then on top of that, she also has the water element, so that pretty much proves my point of some characters are simply tailor-made for the upcoming solo raid boss that we are going to get. So let's actually move on to her skill 1, the Queen's Gaze. This is going to be a passive skill that is going to activate whenever she lands 60 normal attacks. And what this will do is it will increase the damage taken for that target by 12.56% for 3 seconds. On top of that, it's also going to deal 158.43% of final attack as additional damage. Additionally, also after landing 60 normal attacks, she is going to reload 20 rounds of her ammunition. This kind of sounds too good to be true, so I'm going to assume that the 20 rounds of ammunition is going to be the value that you get after you get this ability to level 9. Think of this as like the 5% value on Toe's skill 1 but actually it only has a 2% value that is going to increase depending on the level of your ability. And for Ludmilla, I'm guessing that the starting value for this is 10 and then it's going to cap at 20 rounds after you get it to level 9. So overall her skill 1 is actually really good and I'm actually happy that she's not getting any type of limitation especially when it comes to her damage taken debuff. So moving on, we have her skill 2, which is Snowstorm. And basically this is going to activate whenever she hits the enemy core for 60 times. And the same thing with her skill 1, this is also going to deal a fair bit of damage. And on top of that, this also has another effect that is going to activate at the beginning of full burst. And basically what it does is it will give Ludmilla a 14.6 critical rate buff. So I would say that the damage from this is nice, especially on top of the damage that she's already doing with her skill 1. But as for the crit rate, it's not the best but I guess it's okay. I would have preferred to get other buffs like elemental damage buff or even attack buff but I guess this is fine because she's getting more buffs from her burst. And speaking of, let's actually take a look at her burst. So her burst, just like every other burst type 3 character, is going to have a 40 second cooldown. It's going to affect Ladmilla herself, giving her a whopping 62.54% attack for 10 seconds. That in itself is already really good, but on top of that, she is also going to increase her reload speed by 67.2% for 20 seconds, which is insane. So just looking at her burst ability alone, probably already tells you that she is going to be an insane DPS, especially for the upcoming boss fight. The attack buff is insane, and if I remember correctly, it's pretty much on par with Red Hood and Litter's buff. So now that we have went over her skills, let's actually talk about her potential teams and how you would want to build this character. So the first one, team compositions. The most likely team that you're going to use her in is in a team with the bunnies and litter. That is going to be the perfect combination because she is getting more ammo from litter and at the same time, she is also getting more ammo from noir. So if you have litter, noir, and then you also have the passive effect from Ludmilla Winter Owner skill 1, then at that point, you can pretty much guarantee a 100% uptime on the damage taken D buff on her skill 1. And speaking of damage taken debuff, Blanc also has one on her kit. So when you combine that plus the damage taken debuff from Ludmilla's kit, then your team is going to deal insane amounts of damage. And if I were to give an educated guess on who the perfect fifth character is going to be for this team, I would say that it's probably Scarlet or Modernia, either of the two. 
Preferably, you would want to use a water type damage dealer because in the context of solo raids, the upcoming boss is weak against water but as of right now, we don't really have other water type DPS characters that are actually that good. Just to make sure, let's actually double check. Alright, so over here, we have the list of all the water type characters in Nike, and looking at this, we don't really have any other water type DPS characters that are actually that good. Or at least someone that is going to fit really well with the team composition that we're talking about. Pretty much the only water type characters that are actually good DPSs, quote unquote, are Dorothy, Privity. I'm actually even hesitant to say Blue Ocean Neon. Looking at the ratings, yeah, nah. She's probably not going to be that good, especially if you don't have her built. Maybe if you have a ton of attack on her overload gear, then she's going to work, but outside of that, she's probably not the best option. So realistically, your only two options are Dorothy and Privity, but these two characters don't really synergize well with the team that we're talking about. So based on the skill conditions of her skill 1 and skill 2, you would want to give her the Bastion Cube because that is going to let her shoot more bullets without having to reload as much. And if you are using her in the team that we just talked about, she only probably has to reload, I would say, every 30 seconds maybe, maybe 25. So that is going to be really, really good. Especially if your Bastion Cube is at level 7, definitely give that thing to Ludmilla. As for alternatives, I don't really see the hit rate cube being useful because specifically for the upcoming solo raid boss, Chatterbox is pretty much a very close range to mid range boss fight so you don't really need hit rate for this character even though she's a machine gun user. When it comes to the equipment modifiers, I would say that your equipment is still going to be attack percent followed by increased max ammo capacity and then elemental damage dealt. I'm going for that specific order because attack percent is always going to be the best followed by the increased max ammo capacity because of her skill conditions and I keep mentioning this but increased elemental damage is going to be really good specifically because of the upcoming solo raid boss. So in my opinion, those three are the only ones that you should go for but if you happen to get a very high roll of a critical rate or even crit damage then that is not going to be the worst thing in the world. So yeah, I think that Ludmilla is easily going to be a triple S tier character specifically for bosses. I can also see her being really good for just regular stages with a ton of enemies, but especially for bosses like Nihilister and the upcoming solo raid boss, she is absolutely going to be really really good. The first time that I actually saw her kit, I actually laughed a little because this is basically what I pictured Blue Ocean Neon's kit is going to be. But unfortunately, we all know what happened, so I think that is that. Let me know if you are excited for this character, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to put it down in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.